I think whether you're just starting to learn Unity or you've been doing it for a while, or you're already a professional, regardless of what it is, before you just start jumping into making a game, or if you have like a couple ideas you want to prototype, something that's worth doing, especially if you're learning, because I think this is where it's really valuable, but it's valuable nonetheless, is instead of prototyping a game idea, you set up Unity packages, which are more or less templates for all the different genres you might want to make in the future. Right, does that make sense? So instead of just making like the next Mario platformer game, you make like a template project or like a starting project that has all the essentials you'll need in a platformer that you can build out from. And that way you can enable yourself to do rapid prototyping. And then you do this for platformers, for racing games, for RPGs, for 3D games, 2D games, you know, you just like go through the list. You'll learn a lot in the process. And then you like, you have so many tools at your disposal for the rest of your time in Unity. It just makes sense, right? Like I think it's a really valuable thing to have. And a lot of people offer stuff like this, but it's fun to make it yourself because that's the best way to learn it. It's your tool, your platform, your engine, etc. And so what I recommend is before you just jump into a game project, you make a Unity project called like Sandbox or something like this, right? And this is just going to be your testing grounds. This is like your playpen. You do whatever the hell you want in here. So you'll have this project and this is where you can, you know, set up anything you want. This is where you can test out ideas or art assets. And if you're somebody who likes to use Unity assets on the asset store, then importing them into a Sandbox project is much better than importing it directly into the game you're actively working on. Like let's say I wanted this flat platformer template if I open it in Unity and I go to import it, you'll see there's like so many different assets and I don't really know which ones I actually need. Like what if I just wanted this night sprite? I don't really care about anything else in this package and all like this grass and clouds and stuff is just wasted to me. Obviously I could just uncheck this and then check the things I wanted. But what's nice is you can import it into a sandbox project and then you can make your own packages and import those into your game. And so that same school of thought can be applied to game templates. So I have like a 2D top-down template here, right? It's got some health hearts. I have an enemy, I can damage myself. My player is animated and moving around. And this is a very simple example, but I have some essential things here that I could prototype rapidly from. Right, I could build out some roguelike type game here. I could build out a 2D top-down shooter. I could make a 2D Zelda type game. There's really a lot of options. It's just like some essential functionality. And what you can do is go to assets and then export package. And you'll see it'll open up the list of assets that are found in your project. So this is my sandbox project I've been using for the last few tutorials. And so I can start and click through all the essential things I'll need for my 2D top-down template. And when I have what I need, I can export that out. I could give this a name, like 2D top-down starter. And so now I'm in a brand new Unity project and I can go to assets, import package, custom package, find my 2D top-down starter, and here's all my assets that I can import, right? And so I can just take everything, but like maybe I don't want my scarecrow enemy, I don't really need these parts because it doesn't apply to the prototype I wanna make. And so you can kind of pick and choose the essentials of what you'll need. I'll just take everything, it all gets imported and set up. And then all I've done is just hit import and I can hit play. And I already have a 2D top-down game set up from my other project where I have some health and damage already set up. I have a health bar, I have an animated character, I have movement, you know, I have collision going on. You can have whatever the hell you want. Many of you know this and it's nothing new, but you can do this obviously with like game setups in terms of genres, like you could do a racing game, a platformer game. But more than that, you could also just build out an entire tool set. You know, really handy like utility functions and things like that, that you use in all of your projects that make your life developing easier. You can carry this from project to project and expand it every time you work on something new and by the end of it you'll be able to make some packages that have really useful functionality in it and in the long term it will just completely change how you approach development and it will also cut down on like wasted project time like have you ever worked on like a prototype or something and just completely scrapped it or stopped working on the project i bet there was really useful stuff in there that you could have carried to another idea you know whenever you started working on it even if it was like months or years later like the next time i work on some game that i have a heart health system i don't want to have to rebuild this out from scratch and watch tutorials or even dig up an old project i'd rather just import some package that i have readily accessible in some folder right it just makes more sense that that way to make the work you do in your projects last longer than a single project. And so I don't think this is really revolutionary in terms of thinking, 
but it's not something everyone does. In fact, I'd say only a minority actually take the time to make sure that the components and stuff they're building, even just learning game development, even if they're not working on a game, is stuff they're building in a way that they can just package it and bring it along with them in their journey, right? And I don't have to belabor the point anymore. I think you guys get it. But this is a big change in your approach that will make you a much better Unity developer in the long run. So before you dive into a prototype, why don't you take some time to build out some packages that you can use in your games, like this video if it helped you out. I have a video planned coming up, you know, in the near future where I'm gonna build out like a small utility package that you can kind of use in all your games. So subscribe if you wanna see that. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.